Okay, in this video we're going to uh, look at changing pounds to pence and then back again. Okay, so first of all, um, let's start with um, let's start with uh, some amounts in pounds and we'll convert them to pence. Okay, the first thing is that uh, this is you need to know the pound symbol. That's the pound symbol. And let's suppose we've got an amount three pound uh, fifty five. So you have to have the pound symbol in front, then you have the whole number or the number of pounds here, the decimal, and then you have the number of pence here. Okay, so in pence, this is simply saying that this is 300, okay, from here, this is 300, plus 55, okay, which means that it's 300. 55p. Now you should never write the pound symbol and the p symbol together. You're either talking about pence, which in this case we are, or you're talking about pounds, like over here. Okay, so let's do another one. Uh, let's say seven pound eighty-nine. Okay, so again we've got our pound symbol at the front. We've got our whole number, the number of pounds, whole pounds at. Uh, on the left of the decimal and on the right of the decimal we have all of the leftover pence okay so this is again really just saying 700 pence because it's the whole uh, number of pences remember that one pound equals 100 pence okay and then this is 700 plus the 89 here 89 equals 789 pence okay now to go the other way let's suppose we have uh, let's suppose we have 682p and we have to change it to pounds well the first thing you do is you look at how many sets of a hundred because remember over here we said that every set of a hundred pence is one pound well, here we've got 600 pence, so that's the same thing as saying 600. Okay, and then 82 pence left over. Okay, so all we need to do is we just need to write how many sets of 100 here. Okay, then our decimal, and then how many pence are left over, which is 82. Okay, so we've got six pound eighty-two. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try uh, one and p. Okay, this is a bit harder, <coughs> um, but it, it's still the same idea. Okay, so how many sets of a hundred do we have? Well, in this case, we've got twelve sets of a hundred. Okay, because we've got one thousand two hundred. Okay, and plus our leftover pence here, 49, okay, equal, means that we have, this is telling us how many sets of 100 we've got. Well, we've got 12. Remember again over here, every set of 100 is 1 pound. Well, we've got 12 sets of 100 here, so that means we've got 1,200 pence. So that means that we have 12 pounds. Okay, 1,200 of these equals 12 of these, and 49 pence. Okay, right, so uh, for example, if you get a, a question that says uh, uh, Sally has um, one pound, okay, and she spends 55 pence, well, obviously the word spends means you subtract. And she said, and she spends 55 pence. Well, all you really need to do is just change this into 100 pence because, again, one pound is the same thing as 100 pence. So you can, in your mind, you can just like write, okay, well, 100, one pound is 100 pence. Subtract 55 pence. It's going to leave you 45 pence. Okay. So really, whenever you're faced with uh, 
pounds and pounds questions. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to see whether or not you understand how much one pound is and how much 600 pence is in pounds and pence. They're trying to see if you can convert. Okay, so uh, you need to make sure that you keep this in mind. This is, It sounds really simple, but if you keep that in mind, it will help you work out questions like this and this. Okay? All right. I hope that's been helpful. Good luck.